Muslim and Christian traditions. The prophet Jeremiah is the writer of the book of Lamentations. Second Chronicles chapter 35 verse 25 says, and Jeremiah lamented for Josiah. It is said that Jeremiah retired to a cabin outside of Damascus to spend some time there and it was there in this cavern outside of Damascus where Jeremiah wrote this book Lamentations. Lamentations describes the funeral of a city. Lamentations is a tear-stained portrait of the once proud Jerusalem that is now reduced to rubble by the invading Babylonians. Lamentations is a five-poem dirge, D-I-R-G-E. It's a five-poem requiem. It's a five-poem lament. Lamentations is a five-poem eulogy. It's just a cry. That's why when I went to this book, I said, Lord, we've been worshiping and laughing and clapping, patting our feet. And now you send me to a book of crying. It's an expression of grief. What this book really is, is Jeremiah exposing his emotions. Right there, I tip my hat off to Jeremiah because these are times when you really can't be vulnerable. You can't let people know that you hurt too. You just can't let everybody know that you are human. That you have some faults. That you make some mistakes. That sometimes you say things that you wish you had not said. You do some things that you wish you had not done. And sometimes in all of that, you find yourself just frightened, fearful, not knowing what the next moment is going to bring. You're vulnerable. And yet you've got to look strong. You've got to dress yourself up real well. You've got to put your makeup on, color your hair, polish your shoes, put on a fine suit to camouflage because most of us cannot be as Jeremiah is to us today. One who exposes his emotions. In the face of death and destruction, with life seemingly coming apart, Jeremiah turns tragedy, tragedy into a triumph of faith. But I need to tell you that it doesn't happen in this chapter. In your life and in my life, every chapter is not hunky-dory. That's a shout part right there. That's, 
Let me say it. Every, every chapter in your life and mine is not hunky-dory. Well, you wouldn't want to shout off that, but you could, that's a good place to say amen. amen. You don't get sunshine in every chapter of life. You don't get roses in every chapter. You don't have friends and well wishes all the time. You don't have praise. Sometimes your praise is in handcuffs. You really don't always have life in every chapter. There's a chapter called death. Sometimes you have rain. Sometimes storms. Sometimes you have thorns. Sometimes you have thistles. Sometimes you have enemies. Sometimes you have disappointment. Sometimes you have lamentations. Sometimes death. Sometimes your praise is in handcuffs. Handcuffs are metal devices that locks around a person's wrist. And once handcuffed, a person is restrained from freedom, restrained from independence, restrained from choice and self-sufficiency. That's a problem for people of God, for worshipers, that's a problem. For me, that's a problem. Because praise is what I do. When I want to get close to you, praise is what I do. Handcuffs would be a problem because I lift my hands in praise. Praise is who I am. I will praise him while I can. And bless him at all times. This text is tailored to teach us that Jerusalem is in affliction. It's going through catastrophic times. It's in handcuffs. Jerusalem is lonely. Text tells us today that there is no visitation. Because verse 1 says, How lonely sits the city that once was full of people. How like a widow is she who was great among the nations. Jerusalem is poetically and personified and distinguished from the persons who accidentally composed her population. She sits alone. She sits in solitary. She sits in solitude just like a widow. She has become a vassal. She has become a peasant. Jerusalem has become a slave. There is no visitation, but not only is there no visitation, there is no consolation. You heard the writer when he says, I go to my friend for consolation, but I find them complaining too. There's no consolation. Verse 2 says, she weeps bitterly in the night. Her tears are falling.